Welcome to the ultimate season 12 guide for Kha'Zix. If you don't know who I am, my name is Tindris. I'm a former Challenger Kha'Zix main and I've been playing Kha'Zix across almost 10 years now, accumulating close to 3 million mastery points on the champion. This guide will teach you everything you need to know about Kha'Zix and will cover topics including itemization, runes, evolutions, ability usage, and combos. Kha'Zix is a diverse champion who can run many different setups, so this guide will aim to emphasize his flexibility in the game and enable you to consume and adapt to any situation. So without further ado, let's get into it. So why would you ever want to play Kha'Zix? Well, Kha'Zix is pretty much the perfect assassin. He's got high mobility, invisibility, huge damage, and great utility. He's fantastic at picking off enemies that are out of position, and he's very good at adapting to every state of the game. Because of this, Kha'Zix is never really weak in any meta, since there's almost always a good way to play Kha'Zix in every scenario. For those of you wanting to pick up a versatile assassin that can solo carry, enable his team, while also being able to be picked into pretty much everything, Kha'Zix is the champion for you. And it would be my pleasure to pass down all of the experience I have to teach you how to properly play him. With that being said, allow me to get started. Alright, let's touch on his abilities. Kha'Zix's passive is Unseen Threat. When not being seen, or when casting his ultimate, Kha'Zix will gain Unseen Threat, which will make his next basic attack deal extra magic damage and slow enemies. This passive is incredibly important to playing Kha'Zix properly. You want to make sure you're using and refreshing this passive as much as possible in fights, whether that means refreshing it by walking into bushes or just using your ultimate. It's very important that you refresh this constantly so that you can maximize your damage. Kha'Zix's Q is Taste Their Fear. It's the most important ability of his kit. Pressing it on a target will deal physical damage to them. Kha'Zix has a unique mechanic called Isolation, which will let him deal bonus damage with his Q to people that are separated from their allies. The damage bonus on isolated enemies is enormous, so you want to make sure you're prioritizing isolated enemies in fights to deal massive damage to them. Kha'Zix's W is Void Spike which shoots out a projectile in a line, dealing damage in a small area upon hitting an enemy. This ability will also heal Kha'Zix if he is inside the explosion that the spike causes. Kha'Zix's E is a leap. It's basically just a jump. Kha'Zix will jump towards a direction and deal a small amount of area of effect damage upon landing. This is your most important gap closing ability, and it needs to be used sparingly. Kha'Zix's R is Void Assault. He enters stealth for 1.25 seconds, gains move speed, and refreshes his unseen threat passive upon using it. Kha'Zix also gains an evolution point whenever he levels up this ability, which allows him to evolve one of his basic abilities, each causing different effects, which we'll touch on in a second. This is an extremely important ability, and is what separates the good Kha'Zix players from the bad. For skill order, it's simple. Max Q, W, then E and put a point into R at levels 6, 11, and 16. Evolutions play a key role for Kha'Zix and directly influence the way you approach certain scenarios in the game. It's important to adapt your evolutions based on the state of the game and the playstyle you're using. We'll go through each of the evolutions one by one. Evolved Q, Reaper Claws, increases the range of Kha'Zix's basic attacks and Taste Their Fear, and reduces the cooldown of the ability whenever it is used against an isolated enemy. Q Evolve provides the maximum DPS possible and enables faster clear speeds, neutral objective taking, as well as dueling power. It's the most iconic evolution for when you want to play solo and gain huge leads through heavy farming and dueling power. The increased basic attack and Q range is invaluable in many scenarios. It is extremely difficult to fight a Kha'Zix when you're isolated and he has Q Evolve. Q is usually taken at level 6 to gain strong leads in the early game, but is fine to evolve at level 11 and 16 if you need more damage output. Evolve W, Spike Racks, adds a 60% slow to the ability, and 90% when isolated. It also increases the number of spikes to 3 and lets Kha'Zix shoot them in a cone. W Evolve is the staple support evolution that allows you to peel for your team catch enemies with its enormous isolated slow, 
and disengage fights safely. It's a fantastic evolution for helping your team and is by far the best evolution to take for those tougher games where it's hard to assassinate. W is taken at level 11 or 16 to transition your Kha'Zix into reliable teamfighting capabilities. The area of effect slow will help immensely in mid late game fights and allow your team to follow up on this powerful crowd control tool. Evolved E, Wings, increases the range of your leap and resets the cooldown upon killing an enemy. E Evolve is your classic hyper carry assassin evolution that enables you to multi kill, assassinate, and murder everything in sight, so long as you have the agency to do it. It is by far the best evolution for killing multiple enemies in a fight and allows you to heavily control the flow of teamfights and skirmishes. It also lets you take riskier assassinations, letting you jump in and out when necessary. E Evolve is normally taken at level 11 or 16 to transform Kha'Zix into a true assassin using the lead you have gained from Q or R Evolve early game. Evolved R, Adaptive Cloaking, increases the number of Void Assault casts to 3 and increases the duration of the invisibility to 2 seconds. R Evolve is the evolution which emphasizes stealth and pick potential. It allows you to catch enemies off guard with the extra invisibility and lets you create reliable picks from the fog of war. It enables smart invisibility kills and also lets you survive longer in fights while also applying incredible amounts of pressure onto the enemy team. Our evolve is often taken at level 6 to grab early kills and picks in laning phase, but it's also able to be evolved at any game stage. It is an incredible evolution that solidifies Kazakh's title of an unseen threat. Taking it at any stage of the game will open up many kill opportunities that wouldn't be possible without the increased invisibility. So how do you decide what to evolve? Again, like most things with Kha'Zix, it comes down to preference, but there are some things to consider when choosing your evolutions. Example evolution orders are listed here. Please note that you need to be able to adapt your evolution choices depending on what you need and what your team needs. These are just to help you get an idea of what each evolution order caters towards. Evolve Q at level 6 if you need to fight enemies more easily. Evolved Q will provide you with higher DPS so that you can take neutral objectives and jungle camps faster and kill enemies faster. Evolve W at level 11 or 16 if you want to support your team. This might be the case if you're behind or are simply just not the carry of your team. This evolution will let you enable your team more and set up for them. Evolve E at level 11 or 16 if you're fed and can assassinate enemies easily in the game. This is a feast or famine evolution, so you can't use it properly if you aren't able to kill easily. Make sure to keep this in mind. Evolve R at 6, 11 or 16 if you want to use the increased stealth to set up strong ganks and picks. R Evolve will provide you with insane invisibility to snowball games through picks and apply pressure on the map. This evolution is fine to take at any point in the game. Just keep in mind that there will be scenarios where you might need the other evolutions to be more useful instead of this. Kha'Zix is a simple champion mechanically, but there are many things that you need to do on this champion to find the most success on him in-game. We'll start with the basics. Taste their fear mid-air, the most basic and essential mechanic possible for Kha'Zix. This is the most important thing to start doing if you're just learning him because it helps the flow of his leap combos. To pull this off, simply jump onto an enemy and use your Q on them while you're mid-air. This means that you won't need to cast it on the ground, which saves you a large amount of time when executing leap combos. Assassination combos. Now let's take this one step further and execute a standard assassination. You're going to want to lead in with your leap, followed by a Q mid-air and passive auto attack afterwards. Once you've used your passive, finish it off with a W. There are many variations to this combo and it really just depends on the situation. For example, if a target is not moving or is easy to hit, you can lead with the W before you leap so you won't have to cast it so late. For the most part though, just make sure you're nailing the EQ auto attack combo because it really is your most reliable way of engaging on someone with leap. 
Now, there are many scenarios where you don't want to use your leap. In fact, for the most part, you really want to try hold onto your E as much as possible. So the most efficient combo without using your leap is auto attack Q W. This is for when someone face checks you or for when you can close in on an enemy without using your leap. The third basic tip is to refresh your passive unseen threat. Your passive is a very powerful tool and you need to make sure you're always using it as much as possible in fights. You can do this by refreshing it. You refresh your passive by either walking into the fog of war and being unseen or simply using your ultimate. For example, after a basic combo, your passive will be down, so all you need to do to continue the combo is to use R, refresh your passive, reposition, and auto attack again. You can see that Kha'Zix's R integrates into his combos very nicely, and is basically almost always used after a passive auto attack. This way, you're maximizing your damage by refreshing your unseen threat, giving you the highest chance of killing the enemy. There are more advanced mechanics that are a little harder to pull off in game, but these are the ones that separate the good Kha'Zix players from the bad. Correct Void Assault usage. I'm starting with this one because I've seen so many Kha'Zix players have really bad Void Assault usage, and it tends to be the one thing that holds them back from being better Kha'Zix players. There's nothing special to this, it's literally just using your Void Assault only when you absolutely need to. This means what not to do is not using it to engage if you don't have to, i.e. not wasting it when you're already hidden, not utilizing the passive refresh, or just a complete waste of the invisibility in fights. What you should be doing is using it to reposition, juke or fake movements or dodge skill shots, gap close while being unseen, and extending invisibility. QR Invisible Q a simple trick to perform a Q and prevent follow-up by the enemy in some scenarios. This works better with your second or third cast of R and not your first, but can be done with the first as well. Simply Q into R, that's it. This will make it so your Q goes off while invisible, preventing melee champs from hitting you. This also works with W, but it's not as useful. W Flash. This is exceptionally good to catch an enemy off guard with a surprising amount of burst and almost guarantees that your W will land. Simply W into Flash. The W's trajectory will continue where your cursor was pointed. Q Flash. Q into Flash to reposition. This only really serves to outplay someone in a clutch scenario and nothing else really. R Flash over walls. Now, this is a niche trick that works if you're going for a risky assassination. You can R and flash over a wall to close distance, remain unseen, and catch the enemy off guard. It's not really recommended often, but it does work in some cases. Directional EQs, or half double jumps, or fadeaways, whatever you want to call them. This leads into the double jump. We'll start by practicing half a double jump. You may realize that half a double jump is basically just a Q mid-air and nothing else. The trick here is to perform a Q mid-air, but with a different leap trajectory. This can be done in any direction, backward, forward, over the enemy, the possibilities are endless, and this enables some flashy outplay potential and leads into double jumps. The benefit of doing this is that it's a quick reposition tool, letting you save some time on the ground before you leap, while still letting you burst an enemy, and it can also get you resets and let you keep your E up for the next time you need it. The double jump. This is a trick that lets you double the distance of your evolved leap by jumping, resetting your jump, and then jumping again. The double jump is never really required, but an advanced Kha'Zix player can use it to clean up unsuspecting enemies by closing a massive distance. It looks cool, and it's super satisfying to pull off in game, and there are a number of ways to do it. So long as the target dies during your leap, you can double jump. This means that you can double jump by using your Q, your W, your leap, blue smite, iron spike whip, or assists. Another mechanic is to buffer your abilities. This is not really needed, 
but it's very simple to pull off so I thought I'd add it here. All you really need to do is leap followed by either W or R mid-air. What this does is it makes your W or R go off right as you land, so you don't have to bother casting it on the ground. It's a simple animation cancel that can be useful in some situations, but for the most part it's just a nice little trick. There are a lot of options regarding runes that Kha'Zix can take. This guide will go over four main rune choices for Kha'Zix, which will enable different playstyles on the champion. The most common setup is an Electrocute slash Dark Harvest page. This is your standard damage oriented rune page that enables high burst damage and assassination power. Electrocute is good for high single target burst, whilst Dark Harvest is better for snowballing and multi kills. Dark Harvest is the preferred choice among most Kha'Zix players since it is extremely powerful when you get ahead in the game. I also recommend it personally. Take Sudden Impact, Eyeball Collection and Treasure Hunter for lesser runes. For the secondary tree, you can choose to run Sorcery with Absolute Focus and Gathering Storm. This will give you the most damage possible. You can also run Inspiration Second with Free Boots and Futures Market or Cosmic Insight which is a great way to help you be more gold efficient in a game. Conqueror is the staple Bruiser Kha'Zix keystone. It lets Kha'Zix destroy extended fights and is the best keystone available when fighting bruisers and fighters. Take Triumph with Legend Alacrity or Tenacity and Coup de Gras or Last Stand. For secondary runes, running Sudden Impact and Treasure Hunter is generally a very safe choice for you to run. Otherwise, run Inspiration with Free Boots and Cosmic Insight if you want to go hard into the Bruiser style. First Strike is a great alternative to the standard Assassin rune page with Dark Harvest or Electrocute. First Strike exists to help Kha'Zix get his items earlier, and overall just be more gold efficient while playing an Assassin style Kha'Zix, which is a quite expensive playstyle to run. First Strike does similar damage to the Domination runes, but is completely useless if you don't get the first hit making it somewhat unreliable in a lot of cases. This is one of those runes where you'll just have to try it out for yourself, you're either going to love it or you hate it. If you don't like it, then just stick to Electrocute or Dark Harvest. For lesser runes, take Free Boots, Futures Market and Cosmic Insight. For secondary runes, you can take Sudden Impact and Treasure Hunter for reliability, but if you're feeling more risky, Absolute Focus and Gathering Storm with Sorcery Second will give you more damage overall and plays into the first strike theme. The phase rush page emphasizes sticking power and mobility, letting you stay on targets and dance around enemies easily. It's by far one of the most underrated pages out there that offers a new way to play Kha'Zix and lets you be very fast and unkillable. For the past two seasons I averaged an 80% win rate with this rune and you can take it into almost anything. But again, it's one of those runes that you just have to try out for yourself and see if you like it. Take Nimbus Cloak with Absolute Focus and Gathering Storm. For secondary runes, take either Domination with Relentless Hunter and Eyeball Collection for a more balanced build, or take Inspiration with Free Boots and Cosmic Insight for more gold efficiency. Now there is one rune that I didn't mention here, which is Hail of Blades. For those of you that know me, you would know that I love taking Hail of Blades. It's something that I came up with to enhance Kha'Zix's assassination capabilities. Basically, this rune just allows you to speed up your auto attacks, which speeds up the speed in which you can perform your combos. I love this rune to death because it means you can 100-0 someone in an instant without them being able to react because you're assassinating so fast with this rune. It's also pretty good for dueling in the early game, and it does nice damage too. I do not recommend this to the majority of people, you either love it or hate it, and it's meant to be a different way to play Assassin Kha'Zix. The other runes are more consistent, but feel free to try it out if you like. For rune stats, you will always take double adaptive force and armor. There is almost no other option really. This ensures that you're at your most powerful state at all stages of the game. Taking anything other than double adaptive force will make you weak early, and we don't want that as an assassin. So how do you decide which runes to go? So for the most part, the runes are all up to you. All of the runes I just listed can be taken into pretty much everything. If you need to assassinate, run Electrocute or Dark Harvest. 
if you need to fight bruisers and other fighters, take Conqueror. For first strike and phase rush, basically anything goes. They are playstyle runes that will work into anything. TLDR, it's up to you. Okay, let's talk itemization. Kha'Zix can utilize a wide variety of mythic and legendary items that can change the way he approaches fights. The three main mythic assassin items go a long way to enable Kha'Zix's assassin playstyle. Let's take a look. Dustblade of Drakthar is an item built for multi-kills. It's a very reliable item for Kha'Zix that provides all the stats he wants, a damage passive that resets on kill, and invisibility that also resets on kill. This makes it one of the most reliable items in the game for Kha'Zix as it synergizes extremely well with his kit. Due to the nature of this item providing damage and invisibility resets, this makes Duskblade the strongest item in the game for Kha'Zix when it comes to killing everything in sight with a big lead. Prowler's Claw. This item is built to guarantee a kill on a single target, and kill it well. Prowler's Claw is hands down the best mythic item for raw damage and assassination, since its mythic passive gives you lethality and the active dash gives you damage amplification. The dash is also extremely valuable for gap closing and following escapes, and is the reason why Prowler's Claw is such a potent item to buy. You buy this item if you want to prioritize single target damage and gap closing. Eclipse is an item built for dueling and 1v1s. The stats are amazing for Kha'Zix, with Omnivamp healing being extremely valuable, and the shield passive makes dueling any type of champion very achievable. The only downside to this item is the lack of ability haste, but I think you'll find that the benefits of this item overshadow that. You should buy this item when you're playing Bruiser Kha'Zix or fighting bruises and extended fights, but this item is just so reliable that you can use it in assassin builds too. The last mythic I want to mention is Gore Drinker. Gore Drinker basically just helps you stay alive longer. It's an item built for fighters, which means that taking it on Kha'Zix will let him play a very tanky bruiser style. You only really buy this item if you plan on going bruiser Kha'Zix, which is a great option for setting up your team. Each of these mythic items are fantastic on Kha'Zix. It just depends on what you want to achieve on the champion. If you want to kill everything in sight with resets and invisibility, take Duskblade. If you want to deal massive damage to a single target, take Prowlers. If you want to duel enemies uncontested, take Eclipse. If you want to go Bruiser Kha'Zix and be more tanky, take Gore Drinker. So now we have legendary items. I'll touch on them briefly since a lot of them are situational and are good for different situations. Yumu's Ghostblade. This is definitely the best legendary lethality item in the game for Kha'Zix and is built in almost every assassin build after your mythic. It's a great item that gives Kha'Zix everything he needs, damage, move speed, and ability haste. Edge of Night. Fantastic item on Kha'Zix that lets him be safe when engaging into fights. It's great as a defensive option and I usually build it 4th or 5th item depending on if I need some more safety in fights. Umbral Glaive. This is more so a preference item, but it's cheap, gives good stats, and allows you to get rid of wards quickly, which lets you control vision, which lets you make picks more easily. Overall, very underrated item. Not a lot of people build it right now though, but there are some places for it in builds. The Black Cleaver. This is a very solid item for Kha'Zix that gives him health and armor shred, which allows him to deal with bruises and tanks. You typically see this item being built in bruiser builds, or just to counter bruises. Cerildas Grudge. This is your go-to armor penetration item for Kha'Zix. You buy this item if the enemy is building armor and you need to penetrate it. It's mostly for bursting through armor compared to the Black Cleaver, which is more about shredding down armor over time, and is typically built as your third item. Lord Dominic's Regards. This is a replacement for Cerildas if the enemy is building high health. The Giant Slayer passive will let you deal extra damage to high health enemies, which offers more damage than Cerildas against high health opponents. So, you build this in place of Cerildas if there's a lot of health on the enemy team, or very tanky enemies. Serpent's Fang. Great lethality item that counters shielding enemies. It's good into shielding supports, Sterex Gage users, or just generally any type of shield. You can build it at any time to counter shields. Death Stance. Good defensive option that will let you stay alive in fights more easily. It makes you unusually tanky, 
and will do a great job at countering high burst enemies such as other assassins. More of Malmordius. This is your standard AP counter. The magic damage shield you get from it is fantastic and will hard counter most AP enemies. Kempunk Chainsword. Put simply, this lets you counter healing. You typically see it on Bruiser Kazix builds to counter healing champions, but it works well on assassin builds too if needed. Guardian Angel. A great defensive option that lets you be more risky in fights, but quickly loses its value after the revive has been used. Use this item late in your build if you want some more safety when fighting. Ravenous Hydra. I just wanted to put this here because this is an item that can work very well as a 6th item for Assassin Kha'Zix. It's great for rounding out the build and giving you that extra sustain to solo carry games. So here are the items not to buy because they're either garbage, garbage, or just garbage. Collector. You don't need crit as an assassin and the passive execute is useless for assassins. I swear, if I get one more person trying to justify this item on Kha'Zix, I am going to absolutely lose my mind. Stop buying this item, seriously. It's completely garbage. And yep, that's it. Collector is the only item you shouldn't buy on Kha'Zix. There are other items that you can use, but their usability is niche, so I'm not including them here. Now let's talk about builds. I'll be touching on Assassin Kha'Zix and Bruiser Kha'Zix. For Assassin Kha'Zix, you want to go into one of your chosen lethality mythic items, follow that up with Lucidity Boots and Yumu's Ghost Blade, which will provide you with lots of assassination power. Your fourth item will be Cyrilda's Grudge or Lord Dominic's Regards. Cyrilda's is the go-to choice in this case, but if you are playing against high health champions such as tanks or fighters, take Lord Dominic's Regards instead. For your fifth item slot, take Edge of Night, or if you need to counter shields, take Serpent's Fang instead. For your last item, you can choose between a few things. If you haven't already, take Edge of Night, but otherwise, you can choose between either Guardian Angel for survivability, or Death Stance to help you stay alive in fights. For Bruiser Kha'Zix, take either Eclipse or Gore Drinker. Follow this up with Lucidity Boots and Black Cleaver. After this, your main focus is tanking up with items such as Death Stance and Guardian Angel. Other items include more of Malmordius against heavy AP and Kempunk Chainsword to counter healing. Edge of Night also works as a solid defensive option while also providing you with good assassination power. So I want to talk about the fundamentals of Kha'Zix. These are the things that you absolutely need to do every single game on him in order to find success on the champion. There are three fundamental tips that I will always recommend for every single Kha'Zix player, so let's talk about them. The first thing that you always need to be doing is to farm a lot and prioritize yourself. Kha'Zix is a champion that is expensive to play, which means he needs gold, experience and kills to be at his strongest. It's super important that you farm as much as possible without sacrificing pressure on the map. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that I do a full clear on Kha'Zix almost every single game. This is because getting levels on Kha'Zix is extremely important, and a Kha'Zix that is behind in levels is a weak one. You always want to make sure that you are at least even with the highest level enemy on the opposing team. You can do this by making sure you take your jungle camps and tax lane minions whenever possible. Yes, it's still important to help your team, of course it is, but let me just tell you now, if you've come here to learn how to be that Kha'Zix that hard carries your team and wins games on your own, then you need to be selfish. Your team might hate you for not ganking or not playing around them, but let me remind you that you are the one that does the carrying. My way of Kha'Zix has always been to be the one that wins the game. It's important in solo queue because a lot of your teammates are unreliable. Of course, there are times where you need to accept that you won't be able to carry, so in those cases you need to play with your team. Otherwise, this is still a crucial fundamental because of the expensive nature of playing Kha'Zix. The second fundamental that applies to not just Kha'Zix but to every champ in the game is to stop dying. It's especially punishing on Kha'Zix because all that time you're spending being dead can be used to farm, take objectives and make yourself strong. It's a pretty simple one. If you find that you're not having the success you want on Kha'Zix, honestly, 
7 times out of 10, it's probably because you're spending so much time dead. If you're dying over, let's say, 4 times a game, aim to lower that. This will come with practice on the champion, and if you're just starting out, you're probably going to have a lot of deaths, and that's fine. Make sure to test your limits, but work on gradually lowering your deaths. The third and last fundamental that I want to share with you all is to always be looking to apply pressure where you can. You need to be able to find moments where you put aside your farm in favor of getting picks and objectives. Being strong and playing selfish is detrimental to your team if you're not doing anything with your lead. So while you're farming, think about where you're going and what you can accomplish on the map, whether that's getting a gank off, taking dragon or herald, or a tower. Kha'Zix and assassins in general don't want the game to go too late, since they fall off considerably the longer the game goes on. Although Kha'Zix is one of the better late game assassins, his best game state is the mid game. So make sure you're doing your best to find ways to apply pressure mid game, but don't forget about your farm, of course. Kha'Zix has an average jungle clear, but good optimization and knowing how to take your camps properly can go a long way to help improve your jungle clearing. Kha'Zix can do a few clears, but you should always clear based on what you want to do in the game. If you want to farm up early game and you don't have good lanes to gank, opt for a full clear from blue, gromp, wolves, raptors, red, krugs, or from red buff for reverse. If you know that you have good lanes to gank early, then you can opt for a fast level 3 clear with 2 buffs and your gromp. This will let you get onto the map with your leap fast and apply pressure. For demonstration, we'll be going over a full clear which will show how to clear jungle camps as Kha'Zix in the most optimal manner. Start by smacking down your buff, weaving in Qs between auto attacks and pull the buff towards the next camp. Gromp is fairly straightforward, just do the same thing you did with the buff. Onto wolves. You're going to want to hit all of the wolves with your W while auto attacking both of the small wolves twice. Make sure to keep hitting the big wolf with Q and autos in between doing this. Drag the camp over to raptors and finish all of them off with a second W. For raptors, use your E to jump onto all of them. W, all of them, and auto attack each of the small ones once while queuing the big raptor. Finish them all off with a second W. For your second buff, it's simple. Just make sure to drag the camp over into the bush and save your E to jump over the wall once finished. With Krugs, just smack them down, but focus the big one first. Hold your second W to hit all of the medium Krugs. Kill all of the medium Krugs, then W or E onto the mini Krugs to finish the clear. Next, I'm going to tell you how you should be playing the early, mid and late game stages of the game. Let's get started. So during the early game, you should be focusing on hitting level 6 as fast as possible whilst looking for kill opportunities wherever possible. Once you hit level 6, you want to try and focus on taking objectives and getting kills through ganks or invades. Evolved Q is generally better for taking the neutral objectives like Herald and Dragon, whilst R Evolve is extremely good for setting up ganks in lanes. Make sure to maintain your farm, get objectives and look to secure towers wherever possible. This is made easier if you have Herald, so it's a good idea to prioritize getting Herald once you hit level 6. Heading into the mid late game, your goal is mostly going to be the same. Keep farming yourself up while making sure not to die too much. If your team is ahead, it's a good idea to try and look for picks and pressure towers on the map while looking for neutral objectives. 
If you find that you or your team is behind and not that strong, it's a good idea to consider evolving W at level 11 so that you can help support, peel and disengage fights. TLDR, keep getting stronger and start looking for objectives more often. Your job in the mid to late game is to pick off enemies, pressure objectives and be a persistent threat on the map. There are two key things that you need to keep in mind when teamfighting as Kha'Zix. The first of which is patience. You absolutely need to know when to go into a fight and when to stay put. Never ever get greedy with your jumps and only jump in when you absolutely know that you can kill someone. If you get impatient on this champion, you will most likely die without being able to contribute in a fight. So make sure to have that E discipline. For a general rule of thumb, don't jump in if there are hard CC abilities up since it spells certain doom for Kha'Zix. Be patient, look for chances to jump in safely, and it'll go a long way to contributing in teamfights. Note that you don't always have to take fights since there'll just be times where you can't do anything against grouped enemies etc. So take your time, if you can't find anything go do something else, there's no harm in it. The second teamfighting tip is to stay hidden. Kha'Zix's abilities are easily telegraphed meaning that it's easy to predict what a Kha'Zix is going to do, with his ultimate being an exception. By staying hidden up until the point where you start fighting, you gain the element of surprise which will catch your enemies off guard and make it much easier to execute your assassinations onto enemies. Note that this is generally more important with Assassin Kha'Zix as opposed to Bruiser, but using the Fog of War and Brush to your advantage will go a long way in regards to your success in teamfights. So I think we've now covered everything that's important in order to play Kha'Zix effectively. Note that playing this champion is really just a matter of testing your limits and making sure that you follow the fundamentals. If you follow what's in this guide, follow the runes, items, farm a lot, don't die, you'll have a lot of success on this champion. If you're unsure of how to use this all in an actual game, I regularly post videos of Kha'Zix gameplays so take a look at my other videos in order to get a better idea of how to grasp this champion. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something in this video. If you have any questions at all, drop a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Consider subscribing if you want to see more Kha'Zix or just like the content I put out, I'd appreciate it. Thank you all so much for watching and good luck with Kha'Zix. And stop building the collector.